Glass shattering projectiles are not to be used against humans and remember to always wear eye protection. The glass shattering projectile is designed to effectively break safety glass windows to allow for the deployment of the OC pepper ball projectiles into the interior of the vehicle. Although very few glass chips will penetrate the inside of a vehicle, it is always safer to target a window where there is no one sitting behind it. The most effective range of the projectile is approximately 30 feet with a 90 degree angle position to the window. There is a leeway of 15 degrees in any direction, up, down, right, or left. You may not want to strike the window dead center, but rather toward the edges of the window if possible. It will most likely break faster when struck near the edge. When loading glass shattering projectiles into your launcher, ready the projectiles in your hand. Slide the foregrip of the SA-200 launcher forward until the launching chamber is exposed. Drop one glass shattering round in the chamber. Remember to load only one at a time. Your launcher will still fire with the foregrip in the forward position. If need be, keep loading glass shattering projectiles into the launcher one at a time until the window is shattered. After the glass breaks, put unused rounds in a safe place. Slide the foregrip into the normal firing position and begin shooting OC pepper ball rounds into the vehicle. Some tinted glass treatments may cause projectiles to be less effective, particularly if the glass has been treated with an aftermarket tint or if a sheet tint has been used. In these cases, it will most likely require more than one glass shattering round to penetrate the vehicle. Hello from Chinature.com. This is Mok Josie. Today, I'll be doing a little discussion talk um, about using paintball marker for uh, less than lethal tactic or to, you know, uh, for law enforcement or whatever. You know, people have been talking about self-defense, some defense, whatever. Okay, so you know the idea, right? So I'm not going to repeat what it is about, okay? Um, basically, keep in mind, this video is not to tell anyone to shoot their friends um, or other players like this, okay? So do not do what I'm talking about to a human being that you know, okay? So it's really dangerous and it can lead to serious injuries or death. So always follow the safety rules with your uh, paintball marker, the field, and uh, follow the rules of the rec regulations, you know, the 300 or whatever FPS they limit you to with whatever projectile they provide. Anyway, so back to the topic, okay? Um, a few months ago, I was uh, putting my hands on these markers <coughs> and uh, I got spoiled by the Tiberius. The Tiberius T8.1. After my final uh, tune-ups or whatever you call that, okay, I polished the internals, um, re-loop with my special loops, you know, tune up everything, change the trigger, whatever you want, okay, just boost the gun to the max, okay? With one CO2 only firing about uh, seven powerful shot and then one weak shot and then you're out of air because the whole CO2 is frozen. Now, what kind of power I get? With um, a 6.2 grams breakable. These, okay? I'm getting about uh, a very nice and consistent 26 joules and it's pretty good. <coughs> Given that these are projectiles that do not break or shatter upon impact. So um, it means that okay, instead of having a paintball or a powder ball uh, or pepper ball, okay, those things will shoot out and then go and then it splash over the place. So even though you say, oh, mine can shoot 25 jewels, but if your 25 jewels is a powder ball, it's like shooting a five pound uh, water balloon at someone. It hurts, but it will not penetrate, right? So it's very less lethal. Now, talking about the 25 joules, like a five pound water balloon compared to a five pound rock smashing into the chest is a different story. So my breaker balls here are like, uh, these balls are hard glass balls with rubber coating and they are very, very deadly at that kind of power because it's 25 joules straight into one point and through. Okay, so it's going to break through uh, the crack bones, fracture bones, uh, it's going to go through the meat, the flesh, uh, the clothing. I tried and it will penetrate t-shirt, uh, it would penetrate um, a few layers of fabric too, so no problem penetrating fabric and it's very, very deadly. So, 
I get this 25, 27 jewels, like 26 jewels, and I'm kind of happy because, wow, never handled such a powerful gun. It's so loud, and you can really feel the recoil go back, boom, boom, and you finish the whole CO2 in just one magazine. Wow, amazing, right? Okay. Now, the next thing is I tried the TIPX, and <coughs> first thing first is, well, it's all plastic. You're like, huh, that thing is, at least you got some metal, right? This thing is so toy-like, and it's, uh, the look is so, you know, toy. <laughs> it doesn't look convincing. And one thing is, the CO2 is not inside the magazine. It's inside the front right here. So, basically, you take a CO2 and you put it in here like that. Okay, now I will think about it. What if I run out of CO2 in the middle of the shooting and whatever, I need to change CO2. You need to shoot off all the CO2 first before you can do this. Take it out and then change a new one and plug it in again. So that's one big problem for me. But who cares? Let's take a look at the, the power, right? Um, with the breaker balls, it does not perform really well. The best uh, I can do right now is about 16 to 18 joules with the 3.9 gram riot balls. This riot balls, they're 3.9 grams each hard rubber balls from Pepperball brand. And they are very seamless, smooth, and a bigger size than most of the re-balls that you can buy. They are not re-balls, okay? They're not meant for games. They are meant for riot control. So one round, it hurts like hell. So, <clears throat> This thing shoots about 300 FPS range with these balls, okay? So with a normal paint ball, it will go about 350 FPS. That's the max I can do. And I can have two magazines, two magazines of seven rounds, and that's it. <clears throat> so 14 shots compared to the eight shots, okay? Lot, lot more shots. And um, I was kind of thinking, hmm, so that's about 16 to 18 joules compared to 25 26 kind of jewels. That's a big difference. <laughs> so the factor is uh, if you look at a power, there's the power alone. Uh, in the mine, you'll be like, nah, I would like the Tiberius much more. <laughs> right? We're human, right? We want something stronger, you know? It, we're talking about um, like really intensive uh, situation, right? So we want it to be like that. But thing, the thing is uh, with the TIPX, <coughs> It only pierces the CO2 with the first trigger pull. So basically, if you have the TIPX right here, you can pull it out, point, and then boom, boom, double tap, okay, and it will shoot one round while also punching the CO2. You don't need the other hand. So the other hand can be holding a shield, whatever, boom, boom, <laughs> you know. Or it can be like that, you know, you can have the other hand freed up. So that's one good thing. With the Tiberius, okay, you cannot do it. You have the leader, air up the gun first, put it in the holster, and when you need it, draw, push the safety, and fire. Or, another thing is, practice to turn the knob with your left hand, and I'll go like that, okay, turn, and then now you can fire, see? It takes practice, okay? Turn, and fire. So, it takes a lot more practice with um, instant gassing up the gun. Or else you'll be having a gassed up gun on the holster all day long. And um, it will bring, it will give more wear and tear to the internals in the long run for sure. But anyway, um, so you can see the difference, right? <laughs> a big difference there. In terms of look, the Tiberius looks much more convincing. And also turning the power adjustment is way easier than tuning in the TIPX2. So, um, <clears throat> up to, say, last night. <coughs> Um, I find out that online there is a Pepperball brand uh, PDF showing us like the materials the uh, police officers and stuff need to learn in a lecture, uh, in a course, in order to be certified to be the person or officer to buy and use the Pepperball brand markers and their pepper balls, their glass breaking balls, whatever. Okay, so. Um, their regulations say all their markers, uh, including the Pepperball launchers, um, the TAC 700, the uh, XT, whatever, custom carbine, uh, all that stuff they sell, okay, are 
at 300 to 350 FPS range, max, okay? 350 FPS with their 3 grams balls, measured with the 3 gram balls. I never shoot 3 grams much because all my balls are heavier than 3 grams. So, um, yeah, 3 gram balls, okay, they shoot about maximum 350 FPS. So that means if you're using one of the Riot Control Round, it'll be about 300 FPS or 3 uh, or 290 FPS kind of range. Still, 16, 17 joules. And even on their PDF, it says that uh, they're regulated to shoot at about 11 to 12 foot pound of energy. So 11 to 12 foot pound, that's like 16 to 17 joules. Right. So I was kind of thinking, this thing may be too weak compared to the Tiberius. But after reading that, you see the police use that kind of force um, for the, their duty and it can be capable if you shoot nylon balls or PVC balls, it is capable to break the front window of, uh, of cars and, it, and uh, it's capable of breaking windows of, the, uh, of a house and uh, even the back window of a truck. Go. Hello? And you can see they're like standing at about what 30 feet away and they go boom one shot and the one hole punch into the window and then they keep shooting powder balls which represent the pepper ball and it will shatter the whole glass right away that that's a lot of damage <clears throat> so um, yeah if even those um, balls they use they shatter on impact they with less energy that penetrates through it will still hurt like hell so imagine you're shooting like 6.2 grams breaker ball or the 3.9 gram riot control round it will really hurt like hell and if you combine the pepper ball with these riot control round it will be really effective for whatever less lethal applications so i would say that 16 to 70 joules Maybe we're already at that kind of range, which the Pepper Ball brand uh, proved that is effective enough for the police and law enforcement use on their duty. So, after that, I tuned up a few markers, such as the Spider MR5, EMR5, and such, and I can still get them to shoot at about 16 to 17 joules. So, with that in mind, you can see really um it's not that hard to tune it up you know you change springs uh polish the internals loop it properly it will do the job with the correct pressure uh tank output and with that you can really get that kind of power so i would say that um yeah if you want to say like which one is better the tiberius or the tipx or whatever marker you know it's all about the same you know you look at uh, the um the power that you're outputting with whatever projectile you're using to determine if it's enough or not. The police and law enforcement use uses uh, pepper balls combined with rubber balls and maybe even PVC or nylon balls and it works for them so far for many years already. So I don't see how that will not work for the uh, self-defense, uh, less lethal, whatever application, right? It's going to work. The type areas crazy okay Tiberius T8.1 T9.1 and even the T4.1 that I've tested maximum we can get up to 33 joules average that is just like the military use uh, FN 303 riot gun and that gun have a history of killing someone with one shot to the to the to the eyes and the uh, projectile shattered inside the guy, the, the person's head, and the, the fractures, 
pro projectile is causing internal bleeding and the person died in a few hours in pain. That's really scary. But you can see like it's really lethal in that kind of range already. Uh, especially if you're shooting projectile that is not shattering on impact like brick balls, it will totally do a lot of damage. So um, yeah, that's the point of this video, you know, showing you guys power is good, but after all that, I realized, oh, maybe 16 to 17 joules is really enough with these uh, big balls markers. So really cool. So hope you guys also enjoyed this talk and um, yeah, uh, maybe 12 joules is not enough, but 11 to 12 foot pound, which is 16 to 17 joules with right control balls, uh, pepper balls, it's really enough for the job. If you want more power, the Tiberius T uh, 8.1, 9.1, 4.1 is what you want. But if you want to be just effective enough, all these things I showed before, the Spider ML5, EML5 upgraded with uh, springs, and also the TIPX, they're okay and can do the job properly, for sure. Okay, so uh, that's it for today's talk, and hope you guys like it. Uh, stay tuned for my future video. Remember to, sub to uh, subscribe and like. Bye-bye! Hatchback windows, which have a downward slant, you should not aim straight at the glass, but rather on a downward angle. Try changing the angle or distance if the window does not shatter after firing four rounds.